Hello, this is Alan Fatouche. In this video, I'm going to show you how important Atom's cache in Unreal. So let's let's create a folder here that will contain my cache. Open here and just go where is your Atom's cache and go down here. You see the .atoms file. Tick. Take this one and drag and drop in a real. This will import all the agent types and variations and the actual cache. Um, if you have already some agent type on, on inside your content, Atom will tell you if you want to use that instead to import new agent types. So here you can see I have all my agent types with uh, text to a material. Uh, and then this one is my cache uh, if you drag and drop the cache in the viewport Atoms create automatically an Atoms uh, cache actor here and if I press play I have my cache up and running I'll stop it because you can choose to uh, loop the cache if you want you have different parameters here in the cache you can specify the cache asset uh, you can set a specific frame range for your cache to, to use uh, you can load a specific frame here and start to play and play every frame this one is used for with the sequencer that i show you in a bit uh, you can choose which agent to load from the cache for example if you want to load just some some agents not all for example I don't know, agent from 0 to 20 and you will load, load just uh, 20 agents or if you don't want you can exclude agents you can exclude multiple agents and so on uh, you can have variation you can apply so if you have a variation table you can assign this and you, an artist will show all the different variations for the agents uh, now let's have a look to the sequencer you can use it uh, with the Atoms cache so let's create a new sequence uh, let's go to the Mati, I'll deliver sequence, save it, and uh, now I'll just bring our actor here, let's add a track, a static frame track, i go on the um, cache, cache actor, turn on the use static frame, and let's put some keyframe here, one, two, uh, Zero, sorry, one, stop one. Put here, let's put on here to 50. Okay, let's change the tangent. Linear and linear. And uh, if I press play, I have my cache running. So that's it, thank you for watching, see you in the next video.